Hello pattern readers. This is a surprise video I certainly was not planning to do, but I did want to address the news that came out in Deadline about the character of Matt being recast for The Wheel of Time Season 2. In case you missed it, here is the headline. Irish actor Donal Finn has been cast to play Matt Cawthon beginning in Season 2, as Barney Harris, who completed Season 1, will not be returning. I want to stress that at this point, there is no stated reason for this recast. If you hear anyone talking about reasons for it on social media, it's just pure speculation at this point until we have more information. I'm going to discuss more about the reaction to this news and then tell you as much as I can about the new actor. This was shocking to fans, to say the least. And if you're someone who has been following news about this production, then you might have had Barney Harris in your head as Matt for over two years now. And with the recent teaser trailer and first look, we'd finally gotten to see him in character. So this is absolutely a blow to anyone who was excited about that casting for a fan favorite character. I know I was shocked and upset when I came across this news. So if you're upset, if you're still processing this information, that's totally understandable. But let me stress that this really tells us very little about the production. Let me go to the Dragon Mount article on the topic. First of all, they were able to confirm the news with Amazon Studios. So this is true. Second of all, they point out that this is very unlikely to be related to anyone in production being unhappy with Barney Harris's performance. Such issues of an actor not being right for a role are usually discovered very early in production and changes are made at that point. An example is the role of Daenerys being recast after the initial pilot that was filmed for Game of Thrones. We know that Barney Harris completed all of season one, so there are likely to be other factors for his departure not related to performance. Plus, we have an interview Rafe Judkins gave to Den of Geek, and though we don't know when he gave the interview in relationship to Barney's departure, he praised Barney's performance and said how strong it was. Not too surprisingly, I have seen a lot of catastrophizing over this news. People saying that there's something wrong with the production or something terrible must have happened for this to have occurred. And I want to very firmly say that there is absolutely no reason to believe that either of those things are true. Yep, sometimes recasts coincide with other issues, but recasts are also pretty common. So if you're only thinking about instances where there were issues, it's cherry picking. So let's also remember instances like Dumbledore being recast in the Harry Potter films or War Machine and Bruce Banner being recast in the MCU. Game of Thrones had several recasts throughout its run, and there are many more examples on popular shows. I'll link you to Adam Whitehead's article on Dragon Mount for more context. I really want to avoid speculating on possible reasons for Barney Harris's departure as much as possible. There are a lot of possibilities, and the truth is we just don't know anything at this point. For instance, recasting has become a bigger issue because of changes in schedules and plans due to COVID. I can only really say that I hope the decision was his, and I hope that he is healthy and well. And I would add that, I mean, it could be as simple as an actor getting a taste of what it would mean to be on a high profile and hopefully long running show and realizing that it isn't for him. If he did have to put his own personal well-being above his career, that's not anything to criticize someone over. And beyond that, there's just there's so many possibilities and it really serves no one to dwell on the worst possibilities or to spread rumors. So again, if you hear, oh, it's because of X, Y or Z, that's just pure rumor mill at this point until we get more information, which at this point is basically nothing. So now you're probably also very curious about the new cast member, Donald Finn. So let's talk about him. Finn is a young Irish actor. He graduated from Lambda, the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art in 2018, which would probably put him in his mid 20s, like most of the young actors in the show. He has a good deal of theater experience. He had small roles in The Witcher and Cursed for Netflix and in the upcoming SAS Rogue Heroes for the BBC, as well as the feature film How to Build a Girl. 
I wanted to share some bits of videos that are out there that showcase his personality and his acting ability, and I will link to those full videos as well. I'm going to be showing a bit of an interview he gave for the production of Chasing Bono at the Soho Theater, a clip from The Witcher, and a few clips from a short film he did at Lambda called Angel. I was intrigued by the part of Ivan because he's quite a naive and likable character and he's talented and he has a potential to succeed. Doppelganger is probably Pierce Brosnan and he knows it. Um, no, it's not. Um, my, my Doppelganger is uh, my best mate, Aina from home. I am call it as a rock star because I love um, my early morning starts. I, I kind of get out of bed at around 8 a.m. and I just think any time that I've slept in after 10 a.m. So we get just a little glimpse of his personality here, and I do like this bit of a smile that he has for Matt. I wouldn't say he's showing his best grin yet, but hopefully we'll get to see more of that charm. A job I've got for you, I beg you. The devil, he's been stealing all our grain. In advance, I'd pay you a hundred ducats. 150. I've no doubt you'll come through. You take no prisoners, so I hear. It's funny, isn't it? When you think about it. Why you are the way you are. And I am the way I am. I guess there's only two options. Either we have a choice, or we don't. Yeah, the bollocks off of me. Well, I'm sorry about this morning. It's not how I wanted it to go. My uncle says Mr. Leonard's always been good as gold. Never late with his rent, never any trouble. Times change, you know. What is it you want? I think we're a miracle. Think about it. Billions of planets out there that could have life on them. If they did, we'd know by now, because our technology and their technology would have found each other on me. Why? Because we're a miracle. A fucking mad miracle. It happened billions of years ago when two cells, two totally different cells, came together, joined, and somehow had enough in common that they didn't reject each other. And the chances of that happening are so bloody small, it's basically impossible. It could be a coincidence. Just like it could be that you and I are sat here now. I don't want to believe that. Do you? Then why are you doing this to us? That's our home. And I promise you, Mr. Leonard will find you another. He took us all in, you know. It's not a part that they said, but he made us feel like this place made us feel normal. Like we had something that was ours.
Shit, I knew you wouldn't have the balls. Shut up. Pop would have dealt with it. Do you think so? Do you? Yeah, I do, because he's not a bitch. Yeah, well, you're wrong about that, because Pops knew all about it, and he couldn't deal with it. What you said, that this isn't a coincidence, is that the truth? Did you mean it? I was really impressed with the range of emotion Donald displayed, especially in that short film, which I highly recommend you watch all of, by the way. It's just over 17 minutes long, and I'll include a link in the description. Also, because this was a short film he did at Lambda, and he graduated in 2018, I suspect this was his first real film work, so all the more impressive. The other thing I wanted to share was part of a voice reel that showcases his ability with accents. That could end up being really important because it seems that Barney Harris has been playing Matt with a London accent. And of course, Donald's native accent is Irish. Hello, my name is Donald Finn and I'm from County Cork in Ireland. When I was in America, I tried to think of all the things that I'd miss about home if I had to stay in America. Would I miss the people? Well... I wouldn't miss the lads who used to laugh at me at school. Or the lasses who used to cry if even I spoke to them. This guy loves friggin' PowerPoint. Any excuse to make a PowerPoint presentation. Someone ask him a question, a simple friggin' query, and he's off and running. Hey, Kaylin, how was your day? Hold on a second, let me answer that via PowerPoint. You're telling me to be myself, but I have absolutely no idea who that is. Everyone else seems to have a personality, a character, but I've never... I used to do voices. I remember this, and I don't think anyone can really understand it when I say it, but I remember one moment when I couldn't think what was my own voice. A July evening, after a tar melter of a day, and Broad Street was quiet and muffled with summer. The entire town was dozy with summer. And even as the summer peaked, so it began to fade. So I don't think he would have any issue taking on the accent that Barney Harris used for Matt, and they might want to at least have that for consistency. So overall to me, I feel like Donald looks like a Matt, as much as Barney Harris does, and he seems like a strong actor, so I'm really interested to see what he will do with the role. Obviously, a casting change for a major role is not ideal, but I also don't see it as something that makes or breaks an ensemble production like this. I do worry a bit about the negative commentary that I've seen. I know that a good deal of it comes from people that seem to want to find something negative to say about the production no matter what, so I don't take that seriously. But I do hope that anyone who is otherwise excited about or at least interested in the show will keep an open mind and keep focused on the bigger picture. I also do hope that someone connected to the production will be able to give an official statement of some kind at some point. I would not expect any kind of detail in a statement like that, but it might give us some sense of the nature of this decision and help tamp down on some unwarranted speculation. Though honestly, the fact that there really aren't any leaks associated with this information, it's probably a good sign that people have been handling this in a professional manner. Speaking for myself personally, if this decision had to be made, then I'm glad it's made at this point rather than later. I'm sure that when season one is over, I will feel sad about Barney, but I will keep looking forward to Donal as well. And I feel like if Donal had just been cast from the beginning, that fans would have been equally excited about that. So I want to keep that in mind and just be prepared for there to be some differences. If we get more information on this, I will certainly comment on it, as well as any other season two casting information as it comes. The other thing that is coming up that we know about is a Wheel of Time panel 
at New York Comic Con on October 8th, which you can get virtual tickets to, by the way. So I will link you to that information. So this panel is going to feature Rafe Judkins and some as of yet unnamed cast members. I would not be at all surprised if this is when we get to see the final and longer trailer or perhaps some other exclusive content plus of course the commentary from Rafe and the cast members. So I'm really excited and looking forward to having that to talk about. So make sure you are subscribed, turn on notifications so you don't miss all that sweet Wheel of Time content coming up. And in the meantime, leave me a comment, let me know how you're feeling about this news, how you're processing it. And until next time, seriously, gird your loins, my friends. <laughs>